You know, I've looked at the controls of some other machines and uh, the Miltronics control, boy, it's just a lot simpler. It doesn't take a rocket scientist to try to figure out how to get, how to make one of these operate. I, uh, I look at some of the other controls out there and I'm thinking, man, there's a lot of buttons here to push in. <laughs> and uh, things are just so much easier on the Miltronics, I think the amount of time that it takes to learn it is just reduced by a huge factor. We make custom parts for race cars, mostly drag race cars, uh, bow covers, intake manifolds, special carburetor spacers. Most of our stuff is onesie twosie uh, because uh, it's, it's, it's all very application specific. Most of what we do is uh, aluminum. Uh, I have done some uh, mild steel and some stainless steel stuff. Tolerance and finishes of the parts we're making. The, the finish is kind of an artistic thing uh, and people really like the way our stuff looks. And uh, that's part of the programming, part of the accuracy of the machine, the combination of the two to, to be able to produce that. You know, I'm, I'm not building mil-spec stuff so I don't have to go to tens of thousands in accuracy on an intake manifold, but, uh, but it certainly has to be probably, you know, within a thou or two. So it's plenty accurate enough for the kind of things that I'm doing. The big machine here, it'll take a, it'll take a memory stick, a USB memory stick, and that is a whole nother world. It, it, I can put I can put a huge program on there and it'll, and it'll take the whole thing and I don't have any issues. I, I have to constantly clean programs off of the little machine because it just doesn't have enough memory. <clears throat> Computer space and memory is just so important in these things. We're going to get more into doing piston domes because there's a need for that. And so what we do is we take a laser scan of a cylinder head, a combustion chamber, and that becomes the top of a piston then. And so I can make a couple of adjustments for clearances and such, <clears throat> and uh, so that these things can operate at high RPM with a little bit of programming, then we can make an exact duplicate of that combustion chamber on the top of a piston so we get maximum compression because the, the guys we're building this kind of thing for, they're, these are pretty much all out uh, race cars, so they they want them they want the maximum that they can get. I actually had a, a friend comment one time. He, he when I got a, my first machine, he said, "Boy, you can sure tell when you got your first machine <laughs> because the parts got better and uh, the the quality and the finishes, just everything got stepped up." And so having a having a machine that like this that you can build your own stuff much less have people come to you and want you to build things for them when you know that they're entrusting uh, so much to you. Um, it, it's actually uh, really something.